and my channel is all about sharing the the way I buy and what I buy so others can learn to develop their niche and what to buy. Chicken bowl. Ooh, what's that shell back there? That's to treat your bumpy arms and legs. What is bumpy? I <laughs> I've never seen it put that way. Bumpy arms and legs. Oh, she's digging in the Christmas stuff over there. It is a beautiful Sunday morning and I am at Goodwill, but I am not alone. I brought mom with me this time. <laughs> so we are going to go head in to the Goodwill, see what we can find. And then after this, I got to head to the store. I got some special stuff happening at the store today mm -hmm, on a Sunday. All right. So let's get in there. Hey, mom. Get shop done. Let's get shop done. Open, open. Okay, who's picking out the lucky cart? Who's picking it out? Oh, by the way, Rachel's here too. Rachel's gonna do it? <laughs> no, she doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, we'll let you do it. That's <laughs> fine, let's All right, she's got the lucky cart. All right, let's start in the tchotchkes. This looks like Pioneer Woman. I've seen a lot of Pioneer Woman lately. There's another one right there. Little kitty cat. Oh, he's fun. I always get told, Danny, just because you don't collect sea turtles doesn't mean that we don't collect sea turtles. So I think we'll pick this guy up. It's a wood vase. Somebody had sixteen dollars on it, probably from like an antique booth. Seven ninety nine. I think we'll. I think we'll go ahead and get him. Let's see what this is laying here. That's interesting. I still don't know what it is. It's pretty, but not going to deal with that today. Oh, did you find a birdie? It's a little birdie. Are you wanting that birdie for you or to yes, sell? Yes, for me. Oh, for you. Okay. Oh, it does have a friend. It's only 99 cents. I don't know how I feel about these. I feel like they're very elegant. I don't know who makes them. They're not signed. I don't know. They're big. I would not want to ship them that for that reason. I've got, you know, plenty of stuff to put into my booth right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave that. I do like the Mikasa Swan Bowl. It does not sell for very much, unfortunately, but it's one of my favorite patterns of theirs. Let's see what we got here. We've got a sleeping baby in strawberry patch and it doesn't hang it just lays flat I guess oh I guess it's like a garden thing you'd lay that like in your garden I don't know it's a it's a little odd it's a little odd oh here's another one of these I picked up an eagle the other day this one doesn't have the signature or anything on it unfortunately this one's $12.99 and so we will have to leave this one but it is that same material out of it's an Alaskan artist and then there's this. Oh my. Oh, got broken at the top there. It's got, this has got some age on it. You can tell by the coloration of the wood on the back too. And it's all carved. You know what? This, this I will get for the booth. It's $7.99. Look at, I can't even get it all in the frame. It's so big. Because that can be, I think that can be fixed so somebody can hang it or they can put a hanger on the back. All right, we'll grab that. Look what Rachel found. How cute is he? It says he's a Haviland. And does that mean Haviland? Farm Pond Puddlers. Crafted with pride in the good old U.S. No, it's not. I wonder why, why he says Haviland. How cute is he? All right, you can have him, Rach. You can have him, Rach, if you come and get him. <laughs> Trinket box. 
Wow, that is a heavy little cat. I don't know how I feel. He's heavy. He's super heavy. He'd be expensive to ship, unfortunately. This is very cute. It's a Hallmark. What is that? I'm not exactly sure why those are taped together and what that is. These are distributed by Deluxe Imports. Kind of mass marketed. This looks like a Jim Shore almost. That's kind of fun. We are far from Halloween though. So we'll leave him. All right, let's see. See anything else here, Rachie? I see ducks. You see more ducks? I know, there's lots of ducks. Probably somebody's duck collection got donated. Oh, that's an interesting piece. It is $6. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging it. Oh, what's this? Is that glue? Or just schmush? I think it's a schmush. I kind of, I don't know why, but I'm really liking this. I think I'm going to get this. We've got a ship in a bottle made in the Philippines on a stand. They want $14.99 red tag. Red tag means there's no discount. I don't normally talk about it, but on every day but Wednesday, seniors get 20% off. And on Wednesdays, we get the 40% off. But when I'm buying, I'm not really thinking about that 20%. I want to feel good about buying it, even if it was at the price that it is, just because most people don't get those heavy discounts. And my channel is all about sharing the, the way I buy and what I buy so others can learn to develop their niche and what to buy. We got some plates. We got a chicken bowl. Ooh, what's that shell back there? You're kind of cool. You look very Fitz and Floydy. Five ninety nine. It might it might say Fitz and Floyd under there. It might not. Let's see. Let's see if we can just peel enough to see if that says something under here. Oh, it is marked. It, oh, look at that. Yes, indeed. It is Fitz and Floyd. Yay. Okay. That's coming with us did see the shade back here. Oh my gosh, that is really heavy. I did see the shade back here with the flowers painted on it. Would have gone just like a little boudoir hurricane type lamp. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some shoes in a bag. Little, that one's a pin cushion. That one's just a little shoe and that one's a trinket box. It's only $2.99 for all three of those. I think we'll grab those. What is this? Cocoa Cinnamon Dual Exfoliant. That's to treat your bumpy arms and legs. What is bumpy? I, <laughs> I've never seen it put that way. Bumpy arms and legs. Who's got bumpy arms and legs? Who's brave enough to tell me that down in the comments? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I see something with a dragon. Apparently. I would get this guy if he wasn't $5.99. He's a little Look at all these but look at these bunnies. They're all wobbly bunnies. Yeah, but got broken. Yeah, I know, broken ears. And Easter is too close now for me to comfortably get those out the door. I know the flamingo's kind of cool, but he's kind of cheap too. Oh, the otter's cute. They're so cool. He was eighteen ninety five. Probably bought it. One of the amusement these parks. Funky candles. They're these, shaped like. Oh, they're floating candles. Uh -huh. So you can like, put these in water, and they float, and you have your yeah. What are they supposed to be? I think they're pears. I think so. they have like seeds. split open. Pears. pears have seeds. They do. Yeah. They do. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, big, heavy, <laughs> very heavy. Just art, pottery, stoneware, platter. Really pretty though with those colors. And then this is marquetry. 
Cochabamba, Bolivia. For $7.99. It's kind of pretty. I feel like I've seen that statue in TV shows. I like, I want to say The Amazing Race. I know, that sounds funny. That that's where I would recognize it from. Let me know if that's a place that you have ever seen or been. This pretty bowl down here looks like a fused glass. I'm looking for a signature. This is cool. It is $7.99. I really like this. I don't know who makes this one, but I can feel that it's pretty good quality, although it does have some bumps. I'm leaning towards this as a made in Mexico, like a recycled glassware. It's so interesting though. I think I'm gonna pick it up for $7.99. Rachie, I can't believe you passed these birdies. These guys are cute. Oh, he's got a broken leg. Poor baby. Well, his, his wire leg is just not tight. Needs to be fixed. A keg. That's a good thing that there's nothing in there. Pretty frame. This looks old. Hmm. Made in Taiwan. The frame is definitely cool. Even just even the frame alone is worth that three ninety nine. I'm trying to figure out what that's painted on. It's like slate. Very interesting. I think I'll grab that. Basil. That would have had like a utensil coming out of it. It's another big jewelry box. That one's not as nice as the one I got the other day. <gasps> oh. Say it. Say it. Come on. Like, oh, Grandma already said it. <laughs> Give me a K. <laughs> Ooh, that looks Italian. Ooh, look, it's a funky chicken. That is a funky chicken. He's just a funky guy. He is a funky chicken. This is Lanzurin. Lanzurin. Handmade in Italy. A little pears on a pedestal. Oh, look, it was at uh, Salvation Army for eleven ninety nine, and now it's eight ninety nine at Goodwill. Yeah, that's a that's a good pickup. I'm gonna grab that. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. You're the bee's knees. Where did that saying come from? Always believe in yourself. Sometimes it's the littlest things that make the biggest impact. Life is the flower for which love is the honey. The flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and the bee comes. Those are cute. Three ninety nine. Oh, man. Yeah, they're probably eight to ten dollar little signs. <laughs> oh, doggy. Oh, horsey. That was Edgar's horsey. Oh, she's digging in the Christmas stuff over there. Are you untangling Santa? <laughs> Poor Santa. This is a little aquarium guy. $5.99. Oh, look at this big aquarium. That's probably like really expensive. It's just not my niche. So hopefully a reseller comes and grabs this and um, can get some good money for these. Yeah. I, no, that one doesn't excite me. I like the ones that look like real pumpkins. You say when you get a bunch of blue ones. Hey, they can be blue real pumpkins. Oh. Hey, sassy pants. I see a little abalone shell in here, but I see these stone guys. There's two of them. Those are interesting. Can't tell a whole lot. They're not like foo dogs, though, which 
food dogs can be quite expensive. These are, um, I don't know. And they're holding, it's like a cat holding a mouse. It's almost like a play on a food dog, but it's like a, it's like something else. <laughs> okay, that didn't make a lot of sense, but you, you get what I'm saying there. Plus there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here too. So I think for $7.99, we'll take a chance on this baggie. That is a pretty frame. Wow. I'm looking for any damage because a lot of times there is damage. Yeah, I see some missing shells, unfortunately. That's too bad because that is really pretty. Had that been in better shape, I'd have grabbed it. A little wood box with a bird. It's just a paper put in there for the bird. It's a wine holder. Let's see if there's anything in the Christmas. I am like not in the mood for Christmas, let me tell you. But I do always have to look in these little boxes to see. So we put pumpkin thingies in here. That is not, that is not what goes in there. I'm pretty darn sure. Served only to those with love in their heart. The loving cup. Those are like a, oh, they're Royal Caribbean. I was like, they're like Renaissance fair little themed. And I don't see anything else exciting. All right, this guy has a friend. It was over here. I feel like though, they would do better over here together. So there we go. They're little shelves. I thought they were bookends for a minute, but they're not. They're little, they're little shelves. There we go. Ooh, I see a toll tray. Look, oh, it's got a bird on it too. Look how pretty he is. Pretty scratched up though, unfortunately. $7.99, yeah. Had it been like $3.99, I probably would have grabbed it, but all that scratching is definitely going to affect what someone will pay for it. So we have to take that into consideration. Here we are, we have some grapes. And we have a metal. It's not even metal. This is made to look like metal. You can say a metal ball. Ooh, I like the brass bird cage thingy. I wonder what would have been on the bottom or what can be put on the bottom. Oh, it's missing feet. It's missing foot. Ugh, it's in bad shape. Gosh darn it. I hate that. I hate when stuff is damaged. Kind of breaks my heart. Ooh. Again, really, really damaged. But let's see, this was quadruple plated. Oh no, guaranteed plate. I wanted to see a Q and it wasn't. It's guaranteed plate 834. Pretty messed up. I have no idea what would fit in there. A candle, just a candle. Oh, a like one of those fat, candle. yeah, fat candle. Okay. That's a bird house. Yes, it is. That's kind of cute. I kind of like it. $4.99. Hmm. No, we don't need that. We'll leave that one. All right. Let's see. Anything in the vases? Vases? It almost looks like a Mackenzie child, but it's not marked at all. That is a nice piece. Ooh, it's got the goldfish on the inside. I do want 15 for it. Now, I feel like... I feel like I could just double my money on this. I don't think I could do much better than, than 30, 30, 35. I do like the little goldfish though. Darn it. Makes you a little salt glaze candle holder. You're not, you're not signed. Oh, look at that fox. What does the fox say? I'm getting a blank look. <laughs> That's Limoges. It's Limoges. Um, this is actually a really nice Limoges in the cobalt blue for $3.99. I don't see any damage. I will pick up that Limoges for $3.99. Let's see what we got 
here. Oh, we got a pumpkin. Looks like a cheaper one though. Yeah, made in China. Mm, I like it though. Oh, darn, I see a crack already on this, but look at the mama hen with her chicks. Oh, that would have been so cool. I'm sorry, mama. You got a big old crack. All right, there's some pretty decent stuff here this morning. Cute face painted on that. <laughs> Cute bunny. Another interesting picture. This one is made by Georgia in the year 2000. That is a hobbyist piece. I got asked recently, how do you define a hobbyist piece? A hobbyist piece is a piece that, so you go to the craft store and you buy this picture, but it's not glazed, it's not painted, it's just this white raw material and you paint it and you glaze it and but you're not like a professional you know ceramicist or anything you are just making it as a hobby that's a hobbyist piece it doesn't mean you don't have talent it doesn't mean things can't be really good so i do pick up hobbyist pieces when they are well done funny little bird all right I was looking at the bottom of some of the things that they have flower arrangements in. And, oh, it's a hedgehog chia pet. Oh my gosh. I just bought a bunch of these at another Goodwill. And here's some more. I love them. But now I like I have plenty. But look at the fake fruit. I see a pomegranate. All right, there's nothing too unusual in that. We can leave those. Wow, look at that. Is that paper, Rachel? It's string. Is it string? It looks like it. Oh, no, I think it's paper. paper. It's little curled paper. But yeah, it's pretty. When I was standing up, it looked like It's pretty caps. damaged. It's kind of cool. It's a neat little project somebody, somebody did. But too much damage. We can't overcome that. All right. We will skim through the plastics. See if there's anything exciting. I'm not seeing anything. Nope. Do you need a soup holder? I don't need a soup holder. Do you need a soup holder? No. Okay. It's this little piece here. Not marked. It almost looks like a uh, Blue Ridge Potteries. These look like restaurant ware. They are Syracuse China. Yep. They just don't do real well with the restaurant ware. I think one of the problems is it's super heavy. So the amount somebody has to pay in shipping takes away from what they'll pay for the piece in general. That is tumbleweed pottery. I have heard of tumbleweed pottery before. This is an interesting piece. Now, why would this have a spout? Because it's a bunt pan, right? Hey, mom. Why would this have a spout? Why would it have a spout? Why would a bunt pan have a spout? I think it's a fountain. It's part of a fountain. You think it's part of a fountain? Oh. Or a chip and dip. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mystery piece. Why would a chip and dip need a spout either? Yeah, why would a chip and dip need I don't know. Okay, well, too much confusion. I will leave it behind. It's caused me too much confusion. Now, somebody in the comments is going to say, oh, but Danny, that's worth like $100. You should have gotten it. It's okay. Somebody else can get it. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Oh, I don't like how that's sitting. Let's put you over here where you're safer. It's a cute little pattern on that spoon rest. Hmm. No? No plates or dishes today, even though those are 
super mid-century cool. Maybe even more like 70s. But nope. We'll leave them. Let's see if we got any super special mugs. Aw, did you see the giraffes? You know, it's been two years since April the giraffe died. What? Yeah. I remember staying up all night waiting for that giraffe to have her baby. It was like a big live stream sensation. It was really, really good for the zoo, you know, that figured out how to do the whole live stream thing. <laughs> that looks like restaurant wear too. Um, but then sadly, she, uh, she is no longer with us. I think at least one of her babies lives on though. Who else? Who else was with me and watched April the Giraffe have that baby? I know I bought the t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, no interesting glassware. Not today. Oh, see another bird. Is that a, I guess it's a chicken. It's an egg cup. It's a bisque. See, like this, this could be painted and glazed. This could be bought just like this, and then you could paint this and glaze it, and now you would have a hobbyist piece. That is interesting. It is a cake plate meant to go this way. Let's help it sell by putting it like that. Anything interesting in here? Oh, Rachel, did you see the uh, horse bowls? You wouldn't use them? They're pretty cool. I do kind of like those for $4.99 each. I think we'll get the horse bowls. She might change her mind. All right, got little sherbet dishes. A cute little lid. I wish the uh, pot that this lid went on was around here somewhere. That is really nice. Maybe it is. Maybe we'll run into it. Maybe we will see it. All right. All right. Small appliances. Rachel was just uh, telling me that I should have bought a used toaster. I'm like, I'm not a big fan of buying used toasters. We bought a new one this morning. They're not that expensive. All right, let's look over here. We've got an 18 quart roaster oven, an oaster. I feel like that's a pretty nice item right there. Hmm. 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 Big. Don't want to deal with it today. It's too big. Too big to deal with. As seen on TV, the copper crisper. Oh, it goes into an air fryer. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, Rachel, dig in. They have lots of crafty stuff at this store. I have found you many, many an item here. This looks vintage. This is a vintage Hallmark little centerpiece made in USA. Yep. Yep, sure is. I'll grab that for $1.99. Recollections, little patches. Oh, the donut puzzle. Somebody took the donut puzzle apart. Let's put it back in there. Oh my goodness, there's pieces. Ah, pieces going all over. Yeah. Let's try to rescue the donut puzzle the best we can. That's unfortunate. There we go. Oh, goodness, there's puzzle pieces everywhere. Cookie cutters. Oh, boy. Here we go. Give me an A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> what is this? A little... Jewelry by me, St. Patrick's Day, do-it-yourself bead kit. Oh, cute. They're here because St. Patrick's Day is now almost a year away. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got more 
stamps. I bought a bunch of stamps and I haven't done. See, this is the problem. I buy something and then it doesn't excite me enough to like deal with it and then it sits and doesn't get dealt with and so on and so on. These are Niklos, Nikklod Star. Uh, so it looks like planets, but they look like, um, I don't know if they're stickers or magnets or I think they're stickers or planet stickers. Ooh, I like those. How much are they? Tom and I like those. What'd you find? A llama. Uh, is it all there? I think so. You're gonna sew a llama? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if she sews the llama. I will. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Cats and dogs coloring book. Hmm. It's a party. Binder pouch. Fashion art. Oh my gosh. Look at the hairstyles on those kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember when this was such a big thing? The little transfer on the t-shirt thing. Keep the cat. All right, let's see. Markers. See, for everything I buy her, she's got to have one appearance on the camera. That's the deal. <laughs> All this little sample size stuff. Is that vet wrap? Oh, is it vet wrap? That's vet wrap. I actually need it. We um, actually, I'm going to have Rachel look. Rachel, is this vet wrap? Oh, can you reach it? This looks like bandaging also. Is that, would that work on the bird perches? Or would this work on the bird perches? Well, that's what vet wrap is. It's a medical wrap. It's a bandage kind of. Yeah, this is like soft. All right. We wrap the purchase, purchase, purchase perches in some of the birds cages because um they're like that rope and they pick at them which isn't which isn't good for them so we wrap them so that they don't pick i she hasn't seen these yet i'm gonna grab these especially bougie bougie's probably the worst we have to wrap his often we just bought him some new toys too. The beach fixes everything? Hmm. I will have to try that. <laughs> oh, let's see. No, I don't see anything else exciting. There's a little decorative bird cage. It's cute. What is that? 100, and, 100 questions conversation toolkit. Hmm. Oh, look at all these little cards. How much are they priced? Wait, are they priced for the box? Is it $8.99 for the whole box? Guy, I think these would be really great at the store. Even if I sold them for a buck a piece. Look how many there are for $8.99. Yes, we're going to grab those. Oh, let's see. Snack bags. What are you? Border stencil with kitty cats. Oh my gosh, you're cute. And then butterflies. You're really cute. I don't have a wall to do a stencil on though. 
We've got a stone marble. Oh, for $3.99 and he's not broken? All right, we'll grab him. All right, bags, games, and puzzles, all kinds of things, but nothing exciting. Let's see what we got over here. Look at this. That is a cute pillow. It is a winter theme, but that is kind of super adorable. I'm not really thrilled with the color because it's not a Christmassy color. I guess it's a wintry color. Somebody chopped off the tag on it. You know, I'm going to leave it. It's just too far from Christmas. Um, but had it been closer to Christmas, I probably would have picked that one up. I just don't want to hold on to things that long. What is this? Pyramid Pier Amid Book Rest. That's, so what? So you're sitting with the book and you hold the book up with it. Does that make sense to you, Rachel? It's a book rest. Oh, here. They give you images of what it looks like. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. I'll grab that. All right, I said I really wasn't getting Easter stuff and bunnies, but oh my gosh, he's cute. Who are you? Who is he? He is a fiesta? Nope, I did not. Oh, American petty patient? Petty patient? I don't know. He's not like a brand or anything. He was probably given out at like a children's hospital or something. He is really cute. And he's not priced, so we'll have to get a price on him. We're going to get him. Oh, mom found a squishmallow. How much is he? Oh, eight. Yeah, see, they're they're on to it. <laughs> and uh, that's, they don't sell for, the, see, what's happening is the prices at the stores are going up and the prices online are going down. That is an alien. Oh my Lord have mercy. That's some um, think geek. That is alien. I don't particularly like him either. I'm going to look him up because again, he's $7.99. Let's see how much he sells for. All right. I looked him up and he sells for anywhere from $17 to $20. So I can't really pay eight. There's just not enough margin there. And just, you have to keep in mind out of that margin comes your fees, your time, your shipping materials, your gas and mileage to go and find this stuff. So those are all expenses of your business that the margin has to cover. And in order to make a profit, you have to have a good margin in there that covers all of that. Spending $8 on something that sells for 10 to 12, not a good margin, not a good margin. Can't fault the thrift stores for trying though. Let's see if we got anything. Up here, oh, that is a, another alien item. Again, also priced at $8. Oh, why is he wearing a Pokemon shirt? Why is a bunny wearing a Pokemon shirt? He's a Build-A-Bear, so they chose that for him. He's very cute. Whoop. Oh, what'd you find? A Pokemon case, ball, game, tin, donkey from Shrek, a creepy Shrek donkey. Look, the eyes are wonky. Yeah, he is a little creepy. That's kind of sad. It's, 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 it's very sad. I wonder if the alien got her. Then there's this really cute guy. He is... Wetmore Forest from Funko, but unfortunately, $12.99. No can do, no can do. All right, let's see if we've got any cute lamps. Yeah, nothing. Oh, it's 
So that shade that was in the front would fit on this. It's not the same. I mean, it didn't match, but this that's the shade that is meant to go on a lamp like that. All right. Well, let's skim through the art. Let's see if we got anything exciting. Mm -hmm. Who makes you? Who makes you? Who paints you? Dog Art Studio by Melissa Langer for $2.99. Yeah, I think we'll grab that. I see a little horse. Oh, they're coasters. We actually have those coasters now that I look at it. Little chimpanzee frame. Let's see what this is. Oh, they're just cute little pewter frames. There's one missing. I wonder if it's here somewhere. Those are awful cute. $4.99 for two of them. Hmm. I really do like the little cat frames. I think I'm gonna grab those. Let's see what you are. That's a print, I think. I feel like I recognize the artist, but can I read it? No. I will have my resident artist verify that this is a print, but I'm pretty sure, no, I don't know. I don't know, I gotta have Rachel look at it. Okay, Rachel says print. It is still kind of cute. Even for a print, it's kind of cute. I think even for a print, I'm gonna get it for $3.99. What did you find? Turtle Hunters? Yes. Oh, Terry Dowdy. Oh, well, you know that's coming with us. <laughs> Although I do not condone any turtle hunting by doggies, okay? All you doggies, you better be listening out there. You do not get to hunt turtles. That's a really cute print, too. It's not in the best of condition, though. Here's another one. Painting or print, Rachel? Print. Are you sure? Oh, I don't know about that. That that that's a painting. That's painted. Yeah. W Waters. Pretty. See, they can be tricky to tell. Not really. She says not really. All right, we're going to go check out some purses over here. And that's going to be our uh, final thing, I think. This dress kind of caught my eye. Look at the color on that. Is that vintage? That's got to that's got to be a vintage dress, right? Let's see. Stand by. All right. I couldn't tell there was no tag in it. And I'm definitely not a clothing expert. Okay, purses are a little sparse. Let's see, Lancome. Little bougie blue little guy. That's interesting how that closes by kind of popping into this little area here. Let's see if you've got a name. Might need your hands, Rachel. Might need your hands. <laughs> no, there's no might about it. I need you to pull that open for me. Oh, that's weird because then if you... Okay, well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's a... is it a camera case? It's a... It's a little camera bag. It's what it is. That's what it is. Take a peek in the jewelry real quick. I don't see anything too exciting in here, so I think that's gonna do it for us. All right, that's gonna do it for us. Heading to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And then after that, who knows what shenanigans we're gonna be up to. All right, starting now.
another successful Goodwill trip. Yay, finally, Rachel hasn't gone shopping with me for a very long time. So it, I guess it, it took bringing grandma to, uh, <laughs> to get Rachel to go shopping. And she got a few goodies, she got a few goodies. All right, headed out to go get some more stuff done. You go be profitable and make it fun. Make it fun. I'll see you on next one.